I'm going to give you the floor on this one because I know this is your guy. At one, we're going to jump. Obviously, Carson was at 149, but in between where we uh, had to Procise, get CJ and Carson lined right, up. Right, you got to. Because that's kind of why I like, I mean, I like Chris. If you can just get Chris Carson on his own, I'm fine with it. But I love pairing the two together. But then you got your boy, Corey Clement, here at 162. Mm. This mm-hmm. guy mm-hmm. at 160. This guy. That's my John Gruden. <laughs> what do you, what do you, uh, that, I know me, me and Jay Wayne had some discussions about Corey Clement early in the season with, without you and how we thought he was the Eagles running back to own moving forward prior to a Jai. But I know this is your guy. So what do you, at 162, why do you need to have him on your team? This, he is my guy. All right. So Corey Clement in a, in a couple oh, of leagues. Real quick before he gets yeah, going. Sure. We're going to, we're going to give a, 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 a quick shout out to, um, old, old Tyler. Yeah. Tyler from DHH was the guy shouting from the mountaintops that he loved Corey Clement, regardless of what anybody else was saying and the grades they gave this guy. So, Hats off to him, but yeah, good for Tyler for picking up on him. I'm we'll not, give you next in the clubhouse over here. Sure, I'll take second place here. I I didn't love Corey Clement coming out of Wisconsin. I did like him just fine, but when you get a guy and then you get you go undrafted, and you're like, dang, there's got to be a reason for that. But the thing is, it didn't take me but a just a carrier two and a catcher two, and really just where how the Eagles took this rookie running back who's undrafted. And I see him playing third down and in the red zone early, early in the season. And that's all I needed to see. I went and picked him up on every single one of my and teams. Just so good doing so. So, so prepared. Every and time ready. he touched it, it was awesome. I'm telling you, this dude was, he got no love all year long. A blunt was over there beating people in the head with his helmet, just taking some touchdowns and looking good here and there. A Jai came over there in the trade. They didn't gave up peanuts for a jive. It was a great trade for the Eagles. And he does look very, very aggressive on some runs here and there. But I'm telling you, I, the way Clement is using this offense, to me, he looked like the best running back they had all year. And I'm gonna stand, I know that's a little bit ridiculous, but that's what I saw. That's how I felt. He's my boy, 5'10, 220. He that's what it's thir- all about. He's 5'10, 220. He won the third down roll in a great schemed offense as a rookie. An undrafted rookie. Second half of the season, he was the RB of choice in the red zone unless they were close enough to bring in Blunt. I'm I'm not selling him off any of my teams. I'm going to hang on to him. I'm, I would say buy him everywhere you can, but he ain't going to get him in, one of, in any of my leagues because I got him in every single league. If there's one league I know about right now that I don't have him in and I'm upset about it. But Rich Eisen, check out the Rich Eisen interview post-Super Bowl. Oh, it's great. Guy. Great. It show, he's a beast of a person. He, he'll be in the league for a long time, and that's what you got to take away from Corey Clement. Obviously, he's going to start to start the season next year behind Jay Ajayi if they have Jay Ajayi back on the Eagles. But well, they got him for one more year. He's got one one more year left on his contract for pretty cheap. So Ajayi's here for for one more year, but he may not be here after that. He may not be here after game two. You never know. He got a rickety knee, and he, you never know. <laughs> it hasn't given about. out on him yet, but it hasn't given out on him yet. But you, right, my point is right Limited now. Usage. At one sixty two, Corey Clement's value. I don't think it'll ever be lower. Mm-hmm. So go like that. get us. Oh, well, I'm a little surprised it's this low after a Super Bowl performance that he put on. Sure, and I want to go back to like, listen, if, if you're. You saw a guy who who you liked what you saw, and regardless if you can explain why you liked it or not, you saw something in a guy that you liked. So fuck everybody else. Like, sure. You saw something that you like that may or may not be explainable. Like I can't really explain wh- exactly what I loved that I was seeing from this guy. I just saw that he had it, mm-hmm. and I saw it before a lot of other people jumped on him seeing that, that he had it. Absolutely. And to me, that's one of the most important parts of this entire game yep i'm gonna use my eye and i'm gonna find out which guys have it and i don't have to explain anything to anybody i i saw what i saw although we and will i saw him extensively. right that's what we're <laughs> here to do for your pleasure we will explain it extensively but, but uh, that, you're is, right this is what i that's oh, how Jeff. i run yeah <laughs> this is how i run what i'm doing like i i sometimes i can't explain what i see i can't put it into words correctly but i see something that is just unexplainable and it, it, he just has it he can play the game yeah and that's what Corey clement has and what he has shown everybody by the end of the season and when all eyes were on him in the super bowl and he did time, exactly what he needed to do time and he was, was an integral part of everything that they needed to do in the super bowl by the time he was showing it consistently enough on the field 
if you played with me in every league except for one, there was no you couldn't pick him up because I already had him. And but it's like I think, but a lot of that it does. I I did like what I saw, and you're right, Casey. It's very hard to explain it other than him being so smooth, catching the rock, and looking strong and very very nimble for a two hundred twenty pound man. But also, I just had to take a very very smart offensive coordinator turned new head coach and take it for his actions. He's got he's got plenty of guys that could have been out there in this role. But he's got this undrafted rookie who's he all of a sudden. He saw it too. That's what I'm saying. I saw that it. he saw it. I said, well, this Doug Peterson is an offensive genius. And maybe okay. if Sproles doesn't get hurt, maybe you never even see Corey Clement. Not for the whole year, probably. Strange how things unfold exactly, like that. Exactly, exactly. And this, all of a sudden, this and dude. Donnell Pumphrey tore his hamstring. They drafted him in the fourth round, I think. Could have had him in this third down role. But. They, but they had a rookie running back running in the red zone. And just the gamble of him being on the field was in enough. In huge situations. Big situations. And I said, you know what? Never you, wavered. That's huge. all I need to say. That's all I need to say. My, tremendous. That's, that's my boy. That he's is huge. my boy. Clement is a beast. I know something about Clement. And let me tell you, he's the best. It's he's huge. If anybody knows anything about Clement, it's me. He's the best. I own Clement. He's, he's I tremendous. own I, I own Clement. I don't even. I don't even use him anymore. <laughs> I own Doral. <laughs> well, J and Jai could be out of there after this year. Uh, they got Wendell Smallwood, but he was a healthy scratch at the end of the year. Corey they drafted, pushed him out. They drafted Danell Pumphrey, but he tore his hamstring. He ain't Laguerre, playing in front of Clement. Legarrette Blunt says he's down to come back, but he's probably he ain't probably coming back. So. I mean, this dude could be the, the the workhorse of the future for these Eagles, and you can get him right here in 162. So that's what I'm saying, and he's a three down back. It's a good cut for a guy who showed Solid out, cut. showed out in big situations. I love it.